if you'd have told me I'd be buying my cold pressed juice from a gas station, I would have said you're absolutely mental. But this stuff, I, oh, you know how gamers have fridges in their background with like Red Bull or G Fuel in it? I would love a fridge in my background with just this in it because I'm so much healthier than everyone else. Look, I'm not a massive nutrition type of guy, but when I see the ingredients, organic tart cherry juice, organic blackberry juice, organic pomegranate juice, organic bilberry juice, organic apple juice, organic purple carrot juice, and then like no added sugars, no preservatives. I think, wow, that's actually really healthy. I, I wanna create a go bag today. All right, I just got off a really cool call, which is basically just signing a deal with the MLS and Sporting KC for the rest of the season. And I remembered. <laughs> Be careful not to hit this. I have to put the rosemary oil in my hair again. It's the last day of this, so... Sorry about... <laughs> like, okay, so as I'm looking at this, I can see the video feed here. I um I thought it would be maybe a little bit more cinematic, but it's just it's too wobbly. But it was kind of interesting. Let's let's do my hair. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna do the um the to go bag. I have that, but I've gotta do the hair first so that it I have time for it to sit. Cool. Hair stuff. Alright, gotta add in a wee bit more oil. Oh gosh, that's oh nightmare. I do hate dealing with oil because it's not just like wipe it off your hands and done sticks on your hands for bloody ages. You know, I'm gonna use a comb this time. What are you doing naked, baby? By the way, the video we uploaded yesterday, which was the toothbrush one, that's at 250,000 views. So doing pretty well. And remember, this is more of that, I showed the diagram yesterday, the merge between low authenticity, high views and high authenticity, high views. So we're kind of beginning to bridge that gap where people, where the desire is for people to care more about the person doing it versus what's being done. Okay, I don't need to brush the sides of my head, do I? <laughs> Darn it, I should show you my hair before. So I think it's a lot better, much fewer flakes. It feels really nice and soft. Maybe we'll just do some curtains while we're at it. Oh. <laughs> if I go to the gym in the morning, I always wear hats because my hair is mental after a night of sleep. Maybe I'll tell you a little bit about this MLS deal we just signed. So the MLS and TikTok have a program they've set up and the goal is to get a number of MLS teams involved and have a TikTok creator making content for that franchise, that team, and the MLS. Now, I haven't seen the contract yet. Like, I've already done work with MLS, so I trust them enough that the contract will come through. So I don't know what I can share about, like, the actual rate of it. I would like to be able to. But it's essentially a, a season-long partnership. They'll have certain events and whatnot that they want sh stuff shot for, so they, the requirement is two posts per month, one to go on the franchise's profile and one to go on the MLS's profile, which I'll tell you straight up, the rate for per, per video isn't close to what I would charge for a post on my TikTok. But in this case, it's the opportunity and how much fun I'll have doing it too. So it's that, that trade-off that you have to work with and I'm more than happy with the trade-off at the moment plus you have the opportunity with the all of the sponsors that are with each of those franchises and with the MLS and so you just get huge exposure and the huge benefit to me is that because I've been struggling to get partnerships with brands because they just my type of content isn't your typical ad type of content it needs for people to be able to lead the way and show that my content is valuable. So with partnerships for then, oh gosh, I've used a lot already. I'm only halfway through, whoops. And so by the, essentially the MLS paving the way, now the other brands will start to see, oh, actually we can see how this guy integrates our product or service 
into what he's doing, into his unique style. And then they start to see my unique style for what it is versus just another guy who creates videos online, which is what I've been wanting to stay away from for the past year and a half. And I feel like now all of that hard work and all of the really, I'm going to say it as sacrifices made during that time, because I could have easily gone back to making content that was super brand friendly, that was like uh, made for the sponsorships. And I'm glad I didn't because I wouldn't have enjoyed making that as much as I enjoy making the stuff I do now. And so it's like that perseverance of following what you think is the right move. And I, I think that is a really interesting piece to social media now is that it's going to be easier if you do the same thing as everyone else in the short run. But in the long run, you want to be doing your own thing. So if someone was asking for advice now on how to get big on social media or like how to get a, make a career out of social media that they actually enjoy, you know, actually, my first thought was to say, do whatever piece of content makes you happy. But I think actually, it might be a good idea to start with doing what, oh gosh, everyone else is doing until you build enough of a following. And then when you start to do whatever it is that you want to do, you have a following already. And regardless of whether those people like your new style or care about you and what you create, people can see that you have lots of followers. Oh, this is so stupid, I hate that it is this way. People can see you have lots of followers and there's this sense of auto, is it autocratic power? Seeing that many followers and you think, oh, this person must be worth following. They must be doing something right. They must be creating valuable content or this must be good stuff. It's like, I'll give you an example. If you're on social media and you see a video and it doesn't have any likes or any comments, you're more likely to scroll immediately than if it has hundreds of thousands of likes and comments. And don't try and, <laughs> I mean, maybe you would, but don't try and act like you wouldn't, because I do that, which is bad, because it's all like calculating, is this worth my time investment? Okay, at the back of the hair, I've never even know what I'm doing, so I'm just kind of like rubbing around. Okay, I basically use the whole vial. I don't know how you call it. Okay, massage it in. Oh, baby. Mummy looking greasy. <laughs> All right, we'll give this time to set in and then a cup good few hours from now, wash it out and see what the end thoughts are of doing this for a week. Let's make the go back. After I, after I wash my hands. Okay, I didn't realize just how greasy this was until I looked in the light in here. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Can you see how like shimmery it is on here? Awful really bloody annoyed. This, the flip, the DJI Mic 2, right? When you, you can have it set up so that it recognizes the camera. And so when the camera turns on, the receiver that sits on top of the camera, this bit turns on, but this doesn't turn on automatically. And so when I see that on, I think, okay, obviously both's on, because I've, I've just updated that setting. And so the, the numbers that you're going to see here for setting up this, <laughs> I hate this. So I, I <laughs> so things that are going to go into my kit here. And remember, this is V1, okay? There, there will be a V2 coming in the future. The DJI Action 2 and its accessories. So we've got the sticky mount. You wash it and you can reuse it. So when you see most of the creative shots in my videos, that's from this because that's the camera and it's flipping amazing. But I really need to get two of these, one to stick in this bag. Ideally, I'd like to have this bag ready to go at any moment. So that's gonna go in the bag. Next thing is a mic. This is the original DJI mic. I did initially put this whole thing in the bum bag, but it was too heavy. So I decided let's just go with one mic because that's all I need and the dead cat so that if there's any wind, we don't have to worry about that. Decent audio is the easiest thing to control to create the biggest difference in the viewing experience. I then added in a portable charger. I have one with a, a USB pop-up, USB-C pop-up. I think that one would be better, but either my wife or child has nicked it and I don't know where it is. So for the purposes of this video, I just chose this one. And then finally a $20 bill because I don't always take my wallet with me. I initially had this thought of 
putting the Sony ZV-1 in there as a vlog camera, but I just don't like that this isn't the, it, the lens isn't wide enough for me. So I think V2 is gonna be a better version of a bum bag and is gonna have the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. That's what I think. I'm gonna go, oh, I need to do the egg stuff, don't I? Let's go do the egg stuff quickly. I, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm kind of rushing through this because I signed that big deal with the MLS. I told myself that once that comes through, I would take the rest of the day, hang out with the family. I'm not gonna do a creative bit for the eggs, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna film the bits, so. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'll do my reaction to the hair tomorrow, once it's like dried and everything. 